Hey guys, my name is Billy and I'm a silly and this is Billy's a silly and today um, I'm doing things a little different. Uh, no real like face cam this time because um, one I didn't feel like putting on makeup and two I wanted to use this cute little icon that my friend made me. Um, I have it for my discord. Uh, follow her on tumblr at this link. It's really cute. Also I just kind of like really wanted to do one of those videos where you use an icon. So if you haven't heard, Tumblr has basically pooped itself. They deleted all NSFW content because they said it's like to cut down on child um, stuff. I'm still getting porn bot followers this whole time. And also like I can look up white supremacy right now and see like literal Nazis. Um, this is not Tumblr's first, like, scandal, I guess. In fact, I found a master list of scandals, so I'm gonna go through them and explore them. Um, I'm gonna try to pick fi five for today, so let's, uh, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start this with the post that actually kind of inspired me to make this video. Um, some people might actually remember her. It didn't happen all too long ago. Like, I remember it on Tumblr, and I've been on for a little while, but not too, too long. I'm talking about the girl that stole the human bones. So, uh, yeah, here's some more context for it. PSA, Tumblr user Little Frickin' Monsters is stealing human bones from cemeteries in Louisiana. Please don't let them get away with this and spread the word slash signal boost. I don't know about this man, there's nothing to back up this claim at all. I don't even know if you know anything about this user. You could just be a, a jerk trying to turn people against them. It's for real. And here's the uh, Facebook post right underneath it. By Ender Darling. I'm pretty sure that's not their real name, so um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna uh, say that. And plus it's already out here and I'm sure people have done this before like using her name or whatever, so I'm just gonna read it. CW Graves Bone Hunting. Comment if there are added warnings needed. About 20 minutes from my house in New Orleans is what we call the poor man's graveyard. Most graveyards around here are full of above ground graves because we live in a fishbowl. But there happens to be a graveyard where it's all in ground graves. For those of us who are too poor to afford above ground burial, when it rains, of course, bones wash up. The older the grave, the more you find. You can literally walk around and see femurs, teeth, jaws, skull caps, etc., etc. This is where I go find my human bones for curse work and general spells that require bone. I find human bones are easier for work with for me rather than animal bones. I can relate and work with the energy they carry, if that makes any sense. Anyway, I wanted to see if I started selling, basically cover shipping to wherever you happen to be. If people would be interested. I know human bones aren't easy to come by and I usually have leftovers. I go, I only go once a month or when it rains here. Seven whole people like this. <laughs> I'm absolutely interested, but you need to be careful with the state and federal laws. Oh, I know. I looked it up and it's all good. I wouldn't even be offering if there was a chance someone would get in trouble. Me, lol. Yes, I would def be interested. You're in New York, right? Can you search your state laws on this? In Louisiana, bone trade isn't illegal, but I know New York, Georgia, and Tennessee have stricter laws. And then here's just like her Tumblr bio. I'm Ender, 24, queer, trans, non-binary, primal slash witchy creature, little frickin' monster, angry floofball, cringy Tumblr stuff. Anyway, <laughs> there's a couple of links to news sites, but most of them are broken. However, there is a um, Facebook link that actually mentions the name of the graveyard. And I live in Mississippi, so I'm pretty close to New Orleans. And it is fact that sometimes bones wash up, but usually people don't go around, um, you know, selling them and stuff. This is a public alert, seriously. Anyone know this little had better tell her to stay the frick out of Holt Cemetery or her bones might get broken. Yeah, it's Holt Cemetery. I am not joking. Please spread the word and keep a lookout for yet another cultural vul vulture. For frick's sake, I am furious. Yeah, I get, I get that. Like, imagine you're just 
It's bad enough that you can't afford one of the above ground graves that are usually really, really freaking expensive, but now you're at risk for your remains to be floating away. You can't really go visit grandma if grandma washed away and some little teenager went and sold her bones for her like witchcraft. Molly G. And this is only the first one I'm going to cover tonight. On to the next one. Oh god, this Homestuck bucket video. Okay, context. Um, for those of you that don't know, Homestuck is like this webcomic. I tried to read it before because when I was really into the whole like Tumblr culture, I wanted to be as in, in as many fandoms as I could. But like... No. <laughs> I couldn't get into it, it was too boring, but I know a lot of like teenagers and kids like that like to dress up and go out and cosplay. I mean, you can look up cringe compilations from them. I try not to judge a whole fandom or whatever based on the actions of a few really cringy individuals, but like, that kind of sticks around with them. So onto the video, I'm gonna throw up. Okay, okay. One, go. Dog, why? Gross. It's not even good cosplay. Oh my god. Are you for serious? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. That's nasty. <laughs> that was me gagging. Oh god, I don't want. I'm worried, like, if it freaking, if they try to, like, freaking put it back in their mouths, I'm just gonna, like, cut it off. Nope, I'm not watching that. I'm gonna throw up. Oh, oh gross. Oh, my. Ugh. God. Again. It, like, showed it, and it looked like a vomit. Oh, my God. What even are, is in their mouth? Is it like their drinks that they're spitting in there? I guess, whatever. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god, there's like f oh my god. <laughs> I had to stop. I was like oh God, Jesus. I'm even struggling to say the words, my eyes are watering. It's like chunks of snot floating in there. I can't finish the video. I can't. It's too much. I'm gonna throw up. Link to the video in the description if you ugh, if you want to see it. But ugh, God, Jesus. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up. I gotta move on, or I'm gonna throw up. Ugh. Next up, we have this. Um, going back to bones, I guess. We have a toe uh, necklace. Now, the link provided goes to BuzzFeed News, which is the equivalent of like Bud Cancer, but I haven't really seen any other kind of stuff for it, so we're just gonna, just gonna go with it, okay. It looks like it has somewhat reputable sources, so whatever. Also, if you get squeamish by like missing limbs and stuff like that, maybe skip this one, sorry. <laughs> Earlier this month, a Tumblr user by the name of Cummy Eyelids. First off, why? Why would you make me say that with my own mouth? I hate you. Earlier this month, a Tumblr user by the name of that posted photos of a severed toe that she was sent in the mail by another Tumblr user named Royally Oily. That, yep. That looks like a toe, but mm, part of me is like, mm, it could be fake. <laughs> I don't know. A few days ago, I received a very special package in the mail. It contained this amputated human toe belonging to the lovely Royally Oily. Like, literally, this is a toe off of her foot. I'll be changing the solution, putting it in a new prettier jar, and potentially making it into a wearable pendant. Taking on this project is so super meaningful to me, more so than any other jewelry project I've taken on, especially the including the engagement ring. I'm so appreciative of her trust in me, and I'm so excited to get to work on this. 
that looks like a real specimen jar. I work in a hospital, so I've like seen specimen jars up close, and that looks like a specimen jar. Obviously, other users were very upset about this whole thing. Tumblr, where white hosts and other white hosts their pinky, pinky toes. I oh, you just said that because it rhymed. Why well, they gotta be white though? <laughs> I didn't care about, yeah, but I wish someone would have the love and dedication to send me a toe, I'm just saying. I, was, I have my wisdom teeth, they're fully intact. That's the equivalent of a $15 Starbucks gift, tart, gift card. I need limps. Nah, I'm still blown away. It was her whole toe, bruh. Teenagers out here sending body parts as a gift, I can't even get a text back. And the controversy spilled over onto Twitter, where even more people were very, very upset, as they always are. Facebook, Sunday Night Football. Twitter, West Westworld was crazy. Tumblr, a girl cut off her toe and sent it to another girl to make a pendant. There was a lot of misinformation though, because like I read this before, and the uh, toe is was cut off for medical reasons. She didn't just like straight up cut off her toe and send it to her. Thankfully, that URL, a 23 year old named Lena, told BuzzFeed News the whole story. First off, no, royally oily, a 26 year old named Haley did not sever her own toe to make into jewelry. Haley had her toe amputated for medical reasons in 2011. Lana is an artist who posts photos for a project on Tumblr. Typically, she said she works with wet specimens, bones, and skulls, and said she makes jewelry out of copper and silver. This project is just a nice way for me to combine my skills, Lana said. She said that she plans on represerving the toe and putting it in a pretty pendant sized jar. Obviously, all of this attention spilled back onto her blog where Lana answered some questions about it. LOL, she commissioned me to make the necklaces for her. I won't be wearing it. Why is a toe in a jar from 2011? It's actually even older than that. She had it amputated very nearly a decade ago. 2011 was the expiration date on the, of the preservation solution, hence why I'm changing the solution in jar for her. Also, judging by some of the questions, it looks like Lana might have even more Tumblr user body part projects lined up in the future. I wish I could send you my ribs I had removed. I had thoracic outlet syndrome. Oh wow, that must have been a really intense surgery. I hope it all went well for you. That's super sweet that you'd send them to me. Thank you. Always gotta ask the doctor for the stuff they removed, lol. And you can actually look that up. You can actually, um, in most cases, I guess, save your body parts after you get them removed. Like, there have been people that have saved their amputated legs and arms and stuff. There's a girl on, I think it's on Twitter, that she, or Instagram, I can't remember. She literally had her amputated leg skeletized and she takes it on adventures everywhere. And it's awesome and I love it. I can't remember if I follow I think I follow her. Um, what do you think about the whole toe jewelry thing? Personally, I really like like morbid art pieces. I'm cool with culture vulture as long as it's legal and also not stealing anybody's, <laughs> you know, not stealing like human bones. And also not um, stealing or hurting animals or anything to get their bones. Like if you're using road roadkill, that's awesome. Keep doing whatever. I don't care. Just don't hurt anybody or do anything illegal or s steal human bones. You know stuff like that. <laughs> okay, and the last thing I'm going to be talking about today is this kind of like Kickstarter fundraiser thing that happened where um, it was for this little, I guess it was a cartoon show or a sitcom type thing called All or Nothing and it's about like pansexual and ace, asexual I think? Frick, sorry. Here's the, here's the post. All or Nothing, what happened to the $5,899? You can see here it says All or Nothing web series, um, $5,899 USD raised by 305 backers. Um, 983% of the $600 goal. Oh, good grief. Important update and explanation slash apology slash offer of refunds for backers that have been posted by the leader of the campaign. Here. Were you the scammer? No, I drew the original piece of art sometime in mid-2014. Then later that year gave permission for a group to use it in promotion for their Indiegogo campaign for a live-action web series, for which I was not affiliated. I regret it. What group? <clears throat> a bunch of 18 year old friends in the Las Vegas area. Mostly want to be actors, none want any relevant qualification or experience to speak of. The Indiegogo page used to list all their names with photos, but they have since cleared it and I didn't think to screenshot it back then. 
update and archive of the old Indiegogo page, including names and photos can be found here. Um, I don't really want to, like, go there and look it up because I don't want to, like, name them, I guess. I mean, they were 18, they were young and stupid, you know how it is. That doesn't give them a right to, like, scam people out of almost $6,000 or so. Who was involved? Most of the people featured on the campaign page were listed as acting talent, and I won't focus on them as it's unlikely they were ever involved in the money side of things. Yep. I want to mention Kat Stageman, the head of the project, previously situated at that. Proof of affiliation here. In late 2016, the post started circulating again, which promoted me to message them seeking answers. Can you explain to me, no bullcrap, what happened with All or Nothing? I'm the artist whose art made the post popular and made it possible for you to raise that money. Are you still planning to produce content, or will you work to refund people? They never responded, and a day later abandoned the blog. They've since remade another one and can be found on YouTube with the same handle. What happened? The campaign's progression can be somewhat tracked by the updates on Indiegogo and the official Twitter, but the whole story is only ever revealed on a since-deleted Facebook page, which I failed to screenshot. In short, 305 people donated almost 10 times the amount they originally asked for. Bank complications, supposedly, delayed the transactions of funds for about a month. A Q&A video was announced but never uploaded. After a few months of radio silence, the head of the project admitted that the money was gone and promised that the team would find a way to produce content regardless. Okay, how the dink, first off, how the dink you lose $6,000 almost? That seems like a lot of money to lose. Soon after, all official social media accounts were cleared or abandoned. No content was ever released. There exists at least one web series based on the same concept, but it was not made by this group. Where did the money go? According to the Facebook update, the money was deposited into the leader's family account and then used by their family to cover personal cost. This is not elaborated on. Was it a scam? I think that people behind the campaign had good intentions and genu genuinely intended to follow through, but were extremely naive and did not fully understand the scope of what they were promised to do, promising to do. As can be seen by how much money they originally asked for and the rewards they were offering. Then when things fell apart and it was time to be held accountable, suddenly it didn't seem like a lot of fun anymore. Who is Kai... Kai... Kai? I'm gonna go with Kay. Kay Abernathy. Abernathy is a cool last name. It's a pseudonym. name. Kay is the name of the project's head grandmother, so my pet theory is she's the one who blew all the funds. If so, I've gone. In conclusion, if you donated, you're not getting your money back. You probably should have seen this coming. If you're affiliated with the campaign, it's been years. It's time to show some accountability. Also, please message me. Everyone else, the official banner, as seen on the YouTube channel, was an anamorphous fetus in a test tube, and it gets me every freaking time. What the dink is that? What the dink is that? It's got a tail. Golly gee. So, basically, it was just an Indiegogo scammer, but, you know, co and compared to the rest of the stuff on this list, I think it's, like, minuscule. But still, it's kind of extremely mean to steal $6,000 from people. I'm not 100% sure I've ever really heard of Indiegogo being, you know, accurate in their rewards and stuff like that. I try not to, like, donate to stuff like that. But if you want to, go ahead. I don't know. Um, I think that'll about do it for this video. Uh, I'll probably go back and get a couple more of those later. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> like, if you guys want to see more of these, let me know. I'll go back and pick out some more stuff. A couple more are like Indiegogo scammers, a couple are call out blogs, and a couple I'll need to do more research into. Like, the ones that I looked into were just stuff that already had like no broken links almost and were like reputable pieces, I guess, because the rest of them um, kind of had like either stuff that had something wrong with them, like broken links, or just needed more looking into because of the broken links, or like claimed stuff that wasn't refutable, stuff like that. That was- I'm still not gonna finish that freaking Homestuck spitting video, that's disgusting. I will never know if they drank the spit or not. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm done with that. Gross.
toe jewelry. That's interesting. Um, what are your opinions? Do you think it's okay to steal human bones? Uh, how do you feel about morbid jewelry? Scamage. What's the worst scamage you've ever heard of? Tumblr scandals. Do you have any like Tumblr scandals that you'd like me to cover? Uh, let me know. Uh, like, fave, and sub if you want. I make new videos every Saturday, or at least I try. They don't always come out at the same time, but you know. Go follow my friend. She made this awesome icon. Um, follow me at my Tumblr. I just like made an official Billy is a Silly Tumblr. Because, uh, reasons. Okay, bye.